Hi, I'm Mark Tewart, and let's talk about what do you do when the customer says your payment that you've given them on the vehicle is too high or that they want a lower payment. First of all, let's start from the very beginning, from uh, step one. Don't ask customers where they want their payments to be because from the beginning of time, they're going to tell you one of a few, very few things. Number one, they're going to tell you two to fifty or as low as I can get them or at about the payment I'm at right now. Either one of those are not very good. Those are wish list items. You want to deal with knowns, not unknowns. And the known is what they're currently paying. So if you're going to ask somebody about their payments, don't ask them where they want to be. Ask them where they are currently making a payment at or where they had them when they had them if they paid off their vehicle. That's a known. So when you sit down, I would advise you with the customer to give them the payment that should be on the vehicle that they've chosen. Now, if the customer says to you, that's too high, or I'd like a lower payment, do not make a common mistake. The common mistake I see most people do is by saying, where would you like your payments to be? Well, you're asking the customer to lowball you. You're asking the customer to pick a payment that is even below where they think they should be. So what happens is now, if you cannot get to that payment, or if there's no profit when you do get to that payment, you have forced the customer to go shop. You have forced the customer to go somewhere else to get rid of their fear to see if what you've given them is true. So I would advise you when the customer says that they want a lower payment or that they would like to be at a payment uh, a little bit lower than what you're showing them, I want you to, to not have to think or blink. I want you to know four things you can say and write, such as Mr. Customer, there's four ways that you could get to a lower payment. Number one is you could put more cash investment. Number two, we could possibly look at a lease. Number three, if the bank will approve it, we could look at a longer term. And number four, we could look at some of the vehicles we talked about outside, such as an SL versus the SLT or a base model, or maybe a pre-owned vehicle. So now what I've done is I practiced enough that I have confidence. You see, confidence comes from competence. If I'm competent, I'll be confident. And if I share that with a customer and I look at them and I write those four things, more cash investment, longer term, different vehicle or lease, and I could do it very confidently, quickly, looking them in the eye, they will begin to think about which of those ways they can choose. Now, if you notice, you have not given up any of your profit to, toward, to try to get to where their payment should be. You see, you always have to think about when a customer wants to negotiate, if a customer says that they can't afford a particular payment or want a lower payment, that you always in negotiation should verify and validate what you offered first before you concede or negotiate. Always, always verify and validate. Otherwise, you look like you're just giving money away, like your original offer wasn't valid. And so make sure that you verify and validate by those four things. Practice that so you're confident when you get in front of them, you can say and write those four things. And if a customer still wants a lower payment at that point and says that they want you to come off of the price of the vehicle or give more for the trade to get them to where they want to be on payment, you could say, absolutely, sure, I understand. I'll be happy to work towards whatever monthly investment and budget goal that you want to be at. But you got to kind of help me help you, Mr. Customer. And if you could look at a longer term, more cash investment, if you could look at a different way to pay for the vehicle, such as a lease, if you could look at a different vehicle, this gives the customer an avenue that they can choose. And now when you begin to negotiate, you guys will be coming together rather than just forcing a customer to go shop. These are just quick tips on how to handle the lower payment objection that you get from a lot of customers. I'm Mark Tewart, once again with Tewart Enterprises. You can get more information at Tewart.com, T-E-W-A-R-T.com, or you can call us at 888-2-TEWART, which is 888-283-9278. Thanks a lot, and may you have your best year ever.